This place is so beautiful. We're all alone and a van is just parked up back there. We didn't feel safe there, so it turned out to be a nightmare for us. We're very tired right now. Some people are being robbed. Someone like trying to get into the van. Welcome back. It's so nice to have you here. So last week we couldn't find a park up with a fire pit. They were all out of order. Maybe they don't maintain them in winter. But I found one and we're going there right now. It looks really beautiful because it's in the forest. So I'm so looking forward to get there and light up some fire. It's a bit chilly now. So we've made it up, we're just on top of this hill and this place looks amazing. There's quite a few benches and a fire pit I believe as well. So we're going to go and light that up and enjoy before it gets dark. Now this place is a bit slanting so we might have to get the blocks out to try and find like a parking level parking. But right now the van is like this. <laughs> This place is so beautiful. We're all alone and a van is just parked up back there. We are able to leave Holly inside as she was feeling a bit cold. Um, but yeah, the winter's really picked up now. It was quite a nice afternoon, but now just in the last hour, it's kind of gone a bit gray. And as I mentioned, the wind has really, really picked up. It's normal at times and then you just have this like huge gusts that kind of make you feel cold. Apart from that, the weather has actually been quite kind to us. There's been no snow in the last week and a half, I think, so really good. And the temperatures have been just above five degrees at night and above 10 degrees during the day. <laughs> I'm loving the fact that we have our van parked here. We have this fire here. Yeah. It's perfect. If you don't know by now, Charlene loves setting fires. Mm. You're feeling cold, but when you're next to the fire, you feel very warm. It's like you don't want to leave this bit to go for a walk, you know? I prefer to be here, to be honest. You're losing your patience, there is a prize to pay. In solid our faces, what is there left to say? This hill is a bit too sloping, so I don't think we're going to be able to sleep here. It's reminding me of the one in uh, Patara in Turkey when I set up the blocks and we still really couldn't sleep properly. So it's no good doing that here. It's a shame really because this place is so beautiful and isolated, but I think we're just going to head down further from the mountain and find a spot to park up for the night. So we actually stopped at a McDonald's because I wanted to have some fries from there. <laughs> we usually don't buy from there because we don't like their burgers, sorry. <laughs> yeah. But the problem here the is the fries. It's really good. Yeah, it's good, but it's a bit cold now. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing better than a burger though. Always has been and always will be my favorite food. Here you go. Thank you. So Charlene is currently planning our upcoming adventures. Mm -hmm. There are so many places that we really wish to see and explore. But as we're in Europe, we're taking it slowly. We're seeing places, but I'm planning something really cool because we're going somewhere new, somewhere a bit different to what we're used to here in Europe. And I've been doing research lately and I'm so looking forward for this new trip. Can't wait to tell you. We're back on the road because we couldn't sleep where we were. Basically there were a lot of people outside our van and 
we didn't feel safe there, so we had to leave. We were asleep and we heard a lot of noise coming from outside. We think that there were people having a laugh, you know, and a chat, but it turned out to be a nightmare for us. We're very tired right now. What the hell are those? I don't know where I'm going, I don't know, I'm not going. Sorry, but we're in a complete shock right now. More shock than anything, really. Just basically these guys, they were, I thought they were just having fun because I could hear like music um, in a car. But they were some, like a few meters away at least. And then I heard like voices outside the van. So they came up to the van and started hitting. I'm sure I heard one like on the bonnet. Yes, and me and Holly were... Yeah, Holly started barking. Yeah. We were in a complete shock. Even yeah, now, weird. we're still a bit... We've been driving for like 15 minutes without any maps. Yeah, yeah, just driving straight. We're so scared that they were going to follow us. That's what that's what I thought, to be no, honest. I don't think so. They, they were just... They went back in the car. They went back in the car. Just yeah. a bunch of idiots, I think. First, they were banging on the van at the front. And that's what kind of woke me up. And then I think there were more than one. Some were banging on the side as well. Yeah, but the ones on the side were really loud. Yeah. That me and Holly jumped. Yeah. Well, at first I thought it was someone like trying to get into the van, but they're just kids, I think. Because I think when when we turned on the lights, they just ran into the into the car again. I don't know. I don't know, but we're not going back there, that's for sure. No, no, that's definitely not, no. We didn't feel safe, so that's why we left. Sorry, we're not in a lovely state right now, but yeah, that's how it is. I've got Holly here on me. It's bloody one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And the thing is, that fire cup looked normal, you know? It was okay. It was a bit dark, to be honest, but it turned out to be a place where people hang out at night, basically. Yeah, hey, good morning. So we're at a new parking spot today. I'm making a cup of tea and we're trying to understand what really happened last night and accept it, basically. Here it was quiet though, when we came. It's a normal park up and this morning we woke up a bit earlier than usual, I think because we were a bit stressed as well, but we're safe and we're okay now. This is our park up and we've got our security guard here so sometimes you hear things on the internet that some people are being robbed or something happened with their van and it's very frustrating because when there are people outside your van you know you get that feeling of being scared you don't know who they are you don't know what they're doing you don't know in what state they are in so we were a bit worried yesterday that's why we left that parking space yeah i think we did the good thing we just left right away like at first i was gonna try and go outside and see like that's the first instinct like when you hear someone like hitting your van and like it's on purpose you want to go out and like yeah i don't know i don't know do what really because there were a few of them so i think we did the right thing we just left mm -hmm. as soon as they started like banging on the van we definitely had to leave and to be honest, like this is kind of a good reminder for us. Luckily, there's no real damage. Like we managed to walk up in a bit of a shock, but we managed to get out there. Okay. I just checked the van. There's not no like damage at all. So again, I guess they were just like banging on banging. it, uh, wake us up or to show off. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a wake up call because even like in Germany, um, sometimes I like one of the days I forgot to lock the front door just because like we felt so safe. So I think this is kind of a reminder that we kind of have to take extra precaution in like when we're in places that we're 
not sure of. And even like yesterday, when we were driving, some things started falling about. So I think like when we go to sleep in a new place, we need to kind of clear everything. Clear everything, yeah, because the table was coming yeah. out, wasn't locked. We're not used to it. Yeah. Because we're used to being in a country where it's very safe. Germany is very safe. We were there for a very long time. and it was... Yeah, yeah. The majority of places we've been is pretty much safe. Here as well is very safe, here, France. It's but safe, it's just yeah. maybe we stayed at the wrong place. I think so, yeah. Not really going to do much else for today. Apologies for the crappy video. If this is the first one you're watching, don't worry. We've got plenty more videos to come. And we're normally much more positive, but... I think it was important to share this like negative experience. Yes. And we need a, a kind of break now, you know, from traveling from one place to another. So we're going to take today yeah, gonna as a rest day. Sure, yeah. yeah, and then we'll come back next week with another video, most likely from here in France. And then after that, we want to get started with our new adventure. We haven't spoken to you about that yet, but uh, we'll let you know in the next video what we've got planned. So thanks so for watching. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see you in the next one. Ciao.